Now I'm going to show you how to add various kinds of dynamic markings, articulations, and text to your score. To place a dynamic, you can select a note on the score and then click on the desired dynamic in the palettes menu. Here, I'm going to place a piano dynamic on the first beat of the first bar and then a forte mark on the third beat of this second bar. Now, if I select a note or dynamic on the first beat, I can apply the crescendo hairpin and then drag it to the forte dynamic or use the shortcut shift Control right arrow or shift command right arrow on Mac. Once a hairpin is connected to a dynamic, you can move the dynamic itself and the hairpin will stretch accordingly. Many of the most common articulations can be added using the note input bar. For example, if you select a range of notes, you can quickly apply marcato or accent marks, as well as tenuto and staccato marks. In addition, you can select a range of notes and place a slur mark over all of them using the slur button or with the shortcut S. And you can tie durations using this tie button or the handy shortcut T. Now, if you hover over any of these buttons, a tooltip will appear that describes a shortcut that can be used to quickly access them. It's worth mentioning that you can also select a range of notes across multiple instruments and apply an articulation or dynamic to all of them at once. All other articulations can be found in the palettes panel, including arpeggios, tremolo marks, trills, and fermatas. There are also numerous instrument-specific markings that can be added from the palettes menu, including up and down bow strokes for strings, bends for the guitar, and pedal markings for piano. They all work in the same way. Just select the place where you'd like the marking to be applied and then click on the marking in question. Some markings will have unique settings available in the properties panel. For example, if I select this fermata marking, then if there are playback options available, this playback button will be active. If I click on that, I can now specify how long the fermata should last. There are also multiple text-based markings available in the palettes menu. For example, if I select this range of bars and open the tempo palette, I can apply this ritenuto marking. Another key text element in this palette is swing, which alters the playback to produce a swing feel. I can find the tempo markings from the tempo palette and rehearsal marks from the text palette. Most text items can be modified by double-clicking on them. If you'd like to enter a special music character, you can do this by selecting the Properties panel and choosing the Insert Special Characters button, which triggers a pop-up that contains a range of commonly used symbols. If you'd like to enter a bespoke performance direction to appear above the stave, select a note or bar first, followed by the Add button in the top bar. From there, navigate to the text option and choose Staff Text to begin writing your text instruction. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Control T or Command T on Mac. Expression text can also be added via the Add button or by using the shortcut Control E or Command E on Mac. If you liked this tutorial and want to learn more about MuseScore, be sure to subscribe to this channel.